This is called the flattering angle because I'm looking slightly up and makes me have less chins. Hey guys, welcome back to Broke Over Land. My name is Chad, and as you can tell by the sound, another wonderfully warm day in Seattle. Nothing but beautiful rainy skies, and probably about 40 degrees out there. So, one thing that I've been saying that I was going to do, and I'm of course not, is cutting the metal for the, the 8020 extruded aluminum for that. So, what we've decided to do today is get our pass through wall shimmed out get the, seal, the seams cocked, the nail holes cocked, and then we're gonna go ahead and red guard it uh, for waterproofing, because it's going to be the wall that's behind our shower. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for our uh, caulking to dry, probably just leave it overnight, let it dry all the way. It says one hour to be able to paint over, but it's still pretty tacky, so, or like soft, so it's sticky to my fingers, so I'm just gonna leave it. Give it some more time to dry completely before we red guard it. I always look good in hot pink. <laughs> Goop a little of this all over our edges. Nice and thick, but not too thick. I'm gonna come back and do like probably three more coats. Goes on pink, dries red. Turns in a pretty nice old water barrier. And this is just in case, well, not in case, but when water leaks behind the, gets behind the uh, tile, we want to have another water barrier. And this is supposed to be the stuff. Old school. Uh, nobody wants to watch paint dry, so. So let this dry till tomorrow and hopefully it'll be a little darker red and then we'll put another two more coats on. And... So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and continue working on our 80-20 framing for the rear, back, rear deck here. Well, before I screw this up, go to the store and look at some more material samples to decide, decide what, what we're going to be wrapping that cover board with um, so that we know how much of a gap we need to leave between this and the top of that. Our first chunk cut. We have to leave space for our... This side and go, hmm, that looks crooked. Actually, it doesn't look crooked, it looks funny. Okay, so this is the problem. So, here's roughly, I just got a couple of towels wrapped around a piece of aluminum uh, to represent the thickness of what our um, vinyl wrap is gonna look like or gonna be. But so, when we slide that in to the, the back, we're gonna see the top of this piece of plywood. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and I've got enough tongue and groove cedar left to uh, do another run around here. So I'm going to pull these three pieces of plywood out and do another line of cedar around there just to bring it down. I was kind of, I didn't want to screw through the tongue and groove cedar, but now since I'm going the way that I've got this bracketed is I'm going into the steel of the truck, so I'm not gonna have to worry about having any kind of like weight compression issues with the cedar. So, well, let's get these boards pulled off of here and replace them. Dang. All right. Well, we got that trimmed down, boards back up. So we're waiting for the uh, other pieces to dry. So we've got our cut off piece to show how this is going to Scooch in and then bloop, be perfect. 
And then that way, when we're sitting on here with our, our piece, no matter how far it rolls over, we don't have to worry about seeing the edge of this stupid plywood. That was a bonehead maneuver. Oh well. And now we actually have some boards in there. Put the, uh, drill the holes back in that side and get our back support up. And there we go. Another week of what looks like we did nothing. But what did we actually do? <laughs> we got our seat back put in. We got uh, the lower panels cut down. Got our new pieces of tongue and groove cedar put in. And then we also got our membrane paint put up. That took about a week of adding a couple of coats, letting it dry overnight, adding a couple more coats and letting it dry overnight. There's a gallon of red guard on that wall. So if we do get water behind our vinyl uh, tiles, then they should not, the water should at least run to the bottom and come out underneath. So not suck into the wood. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I'd love to have you a subscriber. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. We'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, it's slowly toning down from a <laughs> freaking murder scene over here. Ugh.